One of the greatest things that you could do when it comes to growing your business is learn, practice, develop your intuition. For those of you who don't know, I had a stroke in 2009, three centimeter right parietal nearly killed me. I had a 15 second memory, so I had no short term memory whatsoever. I, I lost the ability to communicate properly. So I just stopped listening to people because I couldn't remember what they were going to say anyway. And I just started becoming aware of the energy that people brought into me. And it was incredible because I found out very quickly that there were certain people that came to visit me that I didn't want them to visit me. Again, it was such a great gift. Like it really taught me how to trust my intuition because when I felt people and I knew the feeling, I just, I'd see things like, shit, it's so true, it's so true. And every time it just proved me right, every single time. Would you like to know how? Okay, so this is how it works. This is you. Okay, you, you're looking very good. It's important that we understand how reality works. All life forms are basically made up or composed of atoms, which are essentially electrons that are orbiting a nucleus. So we've got two atoms here, and the two atoms communicate between their electrons. Their electrons are essentially there, how they communicate one with one another. But does anyone here know how the electrons communicate, what they use? They actually use Skype because the way they communicate and go, hey, I'm vibrating at this frequency. And this one communicates, and goes, hey, I'm vibrating at this frequency. They go, oh, we're attracted, let's get together. That's a really basic 101 way of explaining it. But they use what's called a messenger particle. And the messenger particle is actually composed of light. And it's called a photon. So the photon is what is used, or light waves, are what is used to communicate between atoms. Does this make sense? Okay, so here's where it gets freaky deaky. Your body is constantly releasing what is called bio-photonic energy. And those photons are constantly communicating and sending information to every single atomic particle around you. And by the way, this explains many aspects of psychic behavior. And I hate the term psychic, I'm gonna call it intuitive. Has anyone here ever been in an environment where someone has walked into the room, and as soon as they've walked into the room, you've gone, there's something about this person I don't like. And then they open their mouth and you go, I knew it. <laughs> who's had that happen before? Look around the room. Now, who's ever been in a situation before where you've been walking along, all of a sudden you've thought about someone and then literally the phone has rung and they're ringing you. Do you know why you knew that they were calling? Because their intention got to you before the telephone signal did. So it's very hard to deny this phenomena when you've all experienced it, but many of us, especially the analytical people, they want to justify it as some form of basic coincidence. And it's not, this is just how, this is how life works. There's two reasons people don't listen to their intuition. Number one, there's too much noise, or number two, they don't trust it. But what we need to understand is that our intuition plays a much bigger game than we do. And sometimes people will trust their intuition, which leads to something bad, and they go, oh, well, shouldn't trust my intuition. The intuition is going, are you idiot? You don't understand. I'm playing five to 10 years ahead of you. I'm giving you that because that's what you needed. And you now think because you trusted your intuition, you made a mistake. You didn't make a mistake. I just gave you what you needed. Now you don't trust me anymore? Ah! Your intuition is playing such a bigger game than you right now because it is literally connected to every form of intelligence that is available in your sphere right now. So your intuition is what is coming in. That's the information that you receive from your environment. That's the information that is present. But it is also constantly sending information. That's your intention. Have you, have you ever met someone before and they walk in and you're like, wow, there's, and they don't even open their mouth, they go, there's something about this guy that's really, I just like the feel. Does anyone have that? Be that, you can be that person. You can be that person, just be aware, be, have the intent bring presence into a meeting, not frenetic energy. Because most people, when they come into a meeting, they've got emotional charge and nervousness. Again, when I interview people, most of the times I don't even look at their resume, I just sit there and feel them.